All right, let's get the show on the road here, people. Boom. Hello, and welcome to Accidental Origin, your weekly writing web show. My name is Brendan. This is my show. How's it going? How's it going out there, peeps? How is it going? Whew. Um, yeah, what's up? What are people up to? Uh, this week's been pretty good for me. I've been doing a lot of writing, just in general. It's always a good week when you're doing a lot of writing. Um, last, yeah, last episode we finished uh, the second issue of Fear the Siren. Really excited about that. Two more issues to go. I think... I'm not sure when the next one will be. Probably sometime in March, I would say. And, uh, yeah. Speaking of March, uh, March 6th is going to be the first episode of our, of me and my good friend Sam, MC Pepper Fox himself's book club show. First episode, Read Write, is what it's called. Um, yeah. It's gonna be good. We have our good friend Martin coming in as a guest host. Uh, we're gonna have a variety of guest hosts over the course of the show. Uh, it's going to be released as a podcast as well, so if you can't make the live episodes, you can tune in and listen to uh, what we have to say. Um, yeah, I'm really excited about it. It should be really good. Um, yeah. So that's another announcement off the table. No, I think that's about it for me right now. What is going on? Okay. So this week, what I think we should do is I think we should work on that short story I created, uh, not last week, but the week before, that sort of multi-prompt thing we had going on. So yeah, I think that'll be what we're working on this week. How's the audio, guys? Is it really loud? Is it really quiet? Please let me know. So it looks kind of loud on my end, but I can't tell. It's very hard to tell. Um, yeah. Turn the gain down a bit, maybe. Oh, oh, that's probably up, not down. Better? Worse? Awful? Just let me know. Computer's acting really weird today, and I'm not sure why. So, maybe that is the problem. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try something really quick here, just to see if maybe I can figure out. what it's doing.
It doesn't sound too bad to me. <laughs> I don't know. It's being really weird. Just have to go with it, I guess. Just have to go with it, I guess. screen here main screen good good so now I want to start laying out this story so we have um we have about five scenes that are uh, so partially written at the very least um, I want to expand out some of them I just want to also get a feel for where I am in the story uh, that's also an important part of what we're doing So, what we got here? So what characters do we have? We have... Margot. place back in place grab a couple sheets of paper here so I'm making some notes uh, some characters go what's this scene about Mysterious master. The scene is Second. 
two is leaving. Gary. Perkins. Emailer. That's Kevin again. So scene three is the old life reappears. Seeing Kevin again. Scene four. Kevin makes Marcy a present. Scene five. Marcy gets.
Too big. There we go. Huh. Switch tenses. Some notes here of like what I'm what I'm doing with this bad boy. Why am I drawing this? Makes no sense. Voila. Agonist goal. To bring mercy back to their world. Okay. What is the conflict? What's at stake? Don't you think? 
themes or my questions. Hello. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I just I just write like this. Also, this thing is kind of weird, like where your hand is. So, yeah. But yeah, probably just just the way I like doing it. Starting to see how this is all interconnected.
freaking a bunch of variables. execution of his loved one. from conflict. Probably something like that. That makes the most sense to me. is probably like something like the resolution would be M bringing mercy back or and an opposite reaction M letting Marcy go. Either of which I think are acceptable. Just depend on how you wanted to, to deal with the story, I guess. I'm not entirely sure how I want this ending to be. But we shall see. We shall see. Okay. That's good. That is good. one
Okay. So let's start detailing out some scenes and then we can figure out what order we want them in. I kind of have the start of an order in my head, but I'm not sure if it works yet. So we're going to try some stuff. I mean, that's kind of how we, we do it, right? We just have to experiment and try things. And if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. It's not the end of the world. Um, the one thing I will note is that in my original scenes, I have uh, Margot, Marcy, Kevin, and Gary as four different characters. I actually think they're two characters. Just a matter of whether or not, you know, like which names I want to go with and, and how I want to structure all of that. So to start, um, let's do the first scene. So the one thing I'm concerned about when it comes to the way I have this set up is I feel like
I feel like having the characters. I feel like names is going to be very important here. Because when I look at this scene order, like I want to break up certain things. Like I don't want all of this city. Well, I guess I should distinguish each scene. Be fine. Because this would be like Earth, Magical Addiction. This would be uh, Unearth. City. Let's take the deal with the Earth. Earth. Yeah. So I want to break up the Earth and Unearth segments. But if I use the same names for the characters in both, then it becomes increasingly clear and hard to distinguish which world is which, which I don't like. So in my head, I'm kind of wondering if maybe I need to have them have like separate identities based on which world they're in. But then that might be very confusing to the reader. So you know, it becomes a very, uh, kind of a, a, a problematic thing of both of them are not ideal. Um, and I'll have to spend some time thinking about that to really get the meat of what I want. But for starters, I want to kind of figure out just the general plot of what, where I'm trying to go with this, right? Like what, what kinds of scenes do I want? What am I setting up? How is it going to all fit together? So yeah. Did I write Mercy? I'm gonna write Margot. So 
So what scenes do I need? What am I missing? Starting to get a better feel for this. This is starting to make a lot more sense now.
starting to make more sense to me. This is definitely longer than a standard short story, though. This is probably more like a novella at this point. Uh, I don't want it to be too long. I, I don't see it as a novel, but maybe a novella it would be a good, a good spot for it. Novelette or a novella, I would say. So it's probably in the ballpark range. Oh. Oh. Confuse me, real weird. So we got our. Short story target. That's 20,000 is my goal. For this bad boy. There's some questions that are still left unanswered right now as of like looking at this. Uh, the first one being who sends the mysterious emails? And why do they send them? Also, does the master show up? Is the master going to be relevant at all? Slash make an appearance. I think that's the only questions I have right now. Just those, those two, I guess. I mean, technically it's three, but whatever. Two of them are related. Cool. So turn off the lock on this. Oh yeah, I want 
want some more different uh, have to dive into some of my character sketches I think I'm going to want to flush out these characters a lot more get, get a better feel for what they do so I'm going to do that uh, but we'll do that after a uh, 10 minute break um, it's that time so yeah I will see you all in about 10 minutes.